What up, idea? Welcome to Merlin's video. We've had a bit of a catastrophe. Now, anybody that is in the community group will know what I'm talking about. My lawnmower broke filming last week's, just at the end of last week's filming, the lawnmower broke, and I didn't know if I was going to be able to get it repaired because it's such an old lawnmower. The problem about buying an old lawnmower is that if it breaks, getting parts can be really tricky. It's made even trickier for me because this doesn't have any plates on it anywhere to sort of say what model number it is and I've brought it down to the local John Deere dealers and they identified it as a certain machine and gave me the part. We took that part to the mechanic and lo and behold it was the wrong part so he was able to modify, he was able to modify it and we've now got something that we think works. Lawn's looking pretty fantastic. As it's been so warm, really unusually warm for Northern Ireland, but it's been really warm this week and we haven't watered the lawn at all. Last week's video, I talked about the mushrooms now. I say the lawn hasn't been cut in a week and we seem to have quite a few of them. And I'd nearly say, if you ate one of those bad boys, you might have a, you might have a strange afternoon. I'm gonna show you an easy way to clear those off the lawn. You can pick them out. I have a greenkeeper's tool that's a useful thing, so I'm going to show you that in a minute. We'll have a look at the rest of the lawn. We'll have some red thread on the lawn. Now, we've had this red thread for about the last three weeks. It hasn't got that much worse, but it is starting to spread now. We are expecting some torrential rain, hopefully, next weekend. Whenever that comes, I'm definitely going to have to treat it then. Otherwise, it'll probably get a lot worse. Then I have two random dead patches. Gonna have to fix these here. I'm not exactly sure what happened here. I think maybe we've had a something digging or an animal on the lawn. Frustrating, but easy enough to fix as we know. There you go, guys. Lawn's looking pretty good. This is obviously before we cut it. Let's get the mower out, give the lawn a cut, and see what we're like. This is the first proper cut since we did the verde cutting last week. So this is a handy tool here for anybody that's into their cylinder mowing. This is called a, a rod or a greenkeeper switch. I'm going to give a wee shout out to the company we bought it from, they're called Boyd's Golf Accessories, they're down, in, they're down in Bangor, not getting paid to promote or talk about them, but there you go, that's if you want to buy one, one from Boyd's. So we'll have a few too many, we'll be here all day if we pick these out, so we're just going to use this rod here to break them and then we're going to blow them off before we cut the lawn. Right guys, now, box on or box off, this week it's been really dry. Actually in Northern Ireland, especially where I live, there hasn't been any rain for a good month, at least a month. So I haven't watered the lawn at all this week, even though it's been super warm temperatures here for Northern Ireland. It's, the weather's been fantastic. There's not a cloud in the sky today. Now chances are by the time you guys see this video next week, hopefully we'll have had some rain and you'll be like, Rob, what are you talking about a drought? but we haven't had any rain for about a month here. So the cup of the box on and the box off. Now, I'm not gonna dive too much into this today, but uh, I'm gonna cup of the box on. I always recommend, especially with a cylinder more cutting with the, the box on, cause you're gonna get a lot of thatch. And as well as that, we have the problem with the weed grasses. Whenever you cup the, the grass box off, you're gonna spread those weeds the whole way over the lawn. So let's do that now. So it does still need some adjustment. It's going to sit here and it sits here. So I'll put that up to engage. And then whenever you let go, it's meant to stop here. So we'll need to, we'll need to see if I can maybe get something to stop it from coming right back. Because that might end up getting broke again. But, but hey ho, it's working. I have my, my Mickey Mouse um, 
I'm just going to put these up here so I don't lose them. But uh, the mower's working anyway, so let's get on with the grass cutting. Okay, I thought I'd stop. Grass box nearly full. We've taken a, a brave whack off the grass, so it hasn't been cut all week. Usually it'll get a wee cut midweek. Let's have a look. Ah, surprising. We're still in the we're still in the 30% rule, so let's get on with the grass cutting. Alright guys, so I've just taken a bit of a break from the grass cutting because it's absolutely roasting. While I do, I just wanted to have a chat to you about something I, I'm just going to say from the word go. We, I film beside a really busy road. Most of the time I stop the camera to any time the cars are whizzing up and down there, but it can be really noisy. So if any cars come whenever I'm mid ramp here, I'm sorry about that. A few people have been saying to me about the compost tail. Just turn the, a couple of people said in my comments about selling out and all the rest. So. I just wanted to say about Symbio, I feel actually really lucky to have them to be working with them on the video. Symbio were actually a pretty big name within professional sports turf and their compost tea really is a, an, an important piece of the puzzle. Now, if you choose to believe me or not, uh, it's all I would say is go and have a look at the Symbio website and uh, make up your own mind. I'm going to be putting this on my own lawn after I finish here. Now, I get a lot of requests from different companies and who I'm going to work with and, and to be honest with you, it actually turned nearly all of them down. I don't want my channel to be like a stopping channel, but I do, I do also have to make a bit of money from the videos. Most of the videos take at least eight hours to make. Last week's video on July Long Care Tips actually took three days, so it, they are time consuming to make. But look, that's my rando so I better get back to the grass cutting. 